Hello and welcome to Let's Play Rocky on the Sega Master System. Uh, this game is very loosely based on the first four Rocky films. Uh, we, uh, we have to fight Apollo Creed from Rocky 1 and 2, uh, then Clubber Lang from Rocky 3, and then finally Ivan Drago from Rocky 4. Um, before each um, before each fight there's some training. The first training is the sandbag. If you don't get at least 60 hits in the time limit, um, you won't be as powerful or as fast. If you overqualify and get 85 hits, um, you will be a lot more powerful and, and a lot faster. Um, the third training, I'll discuss that first before the second one, the third training is the punching mitts. Um, if, if you don't qualify on that and get at least 60 hits in the time limit, um, you won't be as fast. If you over-qualify and get 80 hits, um, you'll, only, um, you'll only need to do two jabs before a power punch. Normally it's three, but if you over-qualify, um, it just means you, have to, um, you only have to do two jabs before a power punch. Um, so that makes things a bit easier. Um, the second uh, training is the most important, that's the speed bag. If you don't get at least um, two hits per second on average in the in the time limit, um, you, you won't be as fast, and uh, club lang um, will be really difficult. Um, if you don't overqualify and get um, seven hits per second, Ivan Drago. Um, he will be extremely difficult and near impossible. There is a video on YouTube of someone doing it uh, without overqualifying on the speed bag, but I've never managed to do it myself. He seems to make Drago walk into his punches. I've tried that, but Drago just seems to back off with me. Um, so, if you want to defeat Drago, you know, and, and you don't want Drago to be near impossible, you need to get um, seven hits on average. Um, per second um, in the time limit, but the only way to do that is with a rapid fire unit because uh, the maximum I've ever managed to get on the speed bag without a rapid fire unit is only five hits per second. That's not enough. Um, with a rapid fire unit, you can get the seven hits per second you needed. Um, I read somewhere online, I think Game of Thrones, that uh, um, that eight hits per second is possible, but I've never I've never managed to do that. I've only managed to do um, seven hits per second with a rapid fire, but that's all that's needed to defeat Drago. Um, yeah, so unfortunately, you need a rapid fire unit if you want to if you want to beat this game really realistically. Otherwise, Drago is near impossible. Or, uh, you, know, you can trust me on that. Um, yeah, the controls um, button two is uh, is punch. As I said, you need three jabs before a power punch, or two if you ever qualify on the third training. Um, uh, low punch is, is a body shot. Uh, the normal punch is either a straight or an uppercut if you're really close to them. If you want to duck, press button 1. If you want to block low, press button 1 and down. If you want to block high, press button 1 and up. Um, but um, blocking and ducking are pretty unnecessary in this game. Uh, this game is just button mashing, really. You don't really need it. I, I intend to knock um, Apollo out in the first round. I usually try to do that, but I might be talking too much, so... Um, it, it'll probably be second or third round, but uh, I have managed. I usually like to do it in the first round if I'm playing without uh, if I'm playing without recording. Um, the three knockdown rule applies to, um, for a technical knockout. I have managed to get um, a proper knockout on Apollo and on Clubberlang, but not on Drago. Although there is a video on YouTube of someone doing it with Drago, but uh, that uh, they'd also did it with the. Um, they, they were using the rapid fire unit as well. Uh, the one who did Drago without the rapid fire unit, he just got a TKO, I think. Anyway, anyway, so um, let's uh, let's play the game without further ado. There's a two-player option, but I can't remember what it's like. I think it's just either one of those characters against the other one. Anyway, let's play the game. The first training and the third one. I'm not going to use the rapid fire unit, so I'm going to do some mad button mashing. Here we go. Okay, push. Push one play start button. The purpose of this training is to increase the punching power and improve the timing of your punches. Skillfully punch while the sandbag is swaying. Here we go. I'm going to go mad. Um, I've managed to get 92 without a rapid fire unit. With a rapid fire unit, 99 is easily attainable. Yeah, you're aiming for 60 by about 15 seconds, I think. That's, if you can do that, that means you're on the right track. So 
I just need 85, and then uh, that means I overqualify, so I should be able to do it, yeah. Eighty-nine, that's quite good. Only three shy of my maximum. Uh, yeah, I'm actually playing this game on an emulator called Freeze SMS. Um, now that's because um, it's the only one I can find that has rapid fire capability. Um, Fusion, uh, bizarrely, doesn't seem to have it. Um, neither does Gens Plus. I also tried one called Mecha. Um, that has rapid fire, but it's not proper rapid fire. Um, I think the way they do it on Mecha is just um, having you just um, press the button, you know, every over and over again at the same rate. But it's not proper rapid fire because uh, with with proper rapid fire, it's possible to get um, seven hits per second on this training. With uh, with Mecha rapid fire, it isn't possible. Yeah, um, when you get, uh, or rather, if you get knocked down, just keep pressing button one or two, and that will make Mickey. Um, it'll make him pat the canvas faster, encouraging you to get up. Yeah, the person patting the canvas is um, Duke Evers. Um, he's Apollo's trainer, and he turns it in, into Rocky's trainer in Rocky 3 and 4, and in Rocky 5, and in Rocky Balboa. Um, yeah, I sh might be able to get a, a first round knockout, but I'll, I'll, I just want to show you the controls first. I, don't, I, don't, um, I won't get a first round knockout, I just want to show you. Yeah, that's that, then you can duck like that. Um, I've never managed to go the distance in any of these fights. I've never managed to uh, have it go down to points. Um, yeah, that's supposed to be Mickey. And bizarrely, Mickey, um, 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 he's your trainer in this, even, even against Drago, even though he's supposed to be dead in that. And also, if you noticed in the in the punching bag training before Apo uh, the fight with Apollo, um, Rocky's shorts were the American ones, which um, which Rocky doesn't get until Rocky three because they're Apollo's ones. But uh, but they made them the correct ones for for the fight against Apollo, which is a bit silly. Anyway, let's just end this now because I've had enough. Uh, you notice I haven't needed to do uh, to press press button one at all. Really, you, you don't want to block. If you just block, they'll just punch you after the block ends. It it doesn't help at all. It's, it, this game is just button mashing, purely button mashing. There's, there's hardly any skill involved unless you know um, unless you're going for um, Drago without overtraining on the speed bag. That that needs some skill, I assure you. That's it. Should be a TKO. Oh no, no, I've only knocked him down once in this round. This might be a proper knockout, actually. You know, for the speed bag, I'm, I'm going to be using rapid fire because um, I can't get the seven hits per second without it. Oh, to be a proper knockout. Yeah, excellent. Yeah. I've done it with, with Lang, but not with Drago. Through further training, try also to win the next match. Okay, if you do lose, you get one opportunity for a rematch, and then it's game over. The purpose of this training is to increase your punching speed. See how many times you can hit the bag in a second. Here we go. That's it. Um, just be careful with the rapid fire. If you um, it, if you don't get in the right rhythm with the with the rapid fire, you, you can muck it up. So if you if you're not in the right rhythm, i.e., he's not hitting uh, the bag like that, um, not letting it sway uh, over to his head. That means you're doing it right. If it does sway over to his head, that means you you have to stop and then um, and then try to start again and get a better rhythm. Obviously, if you're not using rapid fire, the maximum well in my my in um, in my opinion the maximum you can get is only five because that's all I've managed to get even while with wildly um, mashing the buttons. So um, and if that happens, that means you will the bag will be swaying over to your head a bit. Uh, Lang is is easy really as long as you at least qualify. If you don't qualify, if you get under two per second, Lang is really hard. If you do qualify or over qualify, he's easy. I've noticed if you over qualify, yeah, Lang has no beard on the picture, but he does on the actual in the in the fight. Um, yeah, see, there's his beard. If you over qualify, and Rocky has the um, um, Rocky has the American um, shorts on. Yeah, if you overqualify, um, I've noticed that Lang will duck more. Um, he doesn't duck. I don't think he ducks as much if you only qualify or, or don't qualify at all. If it, I've noticed if if I overqualify, he tends to duck a lot, and it's really annoying because it means it takes longer to get the knockout. Bizarre. It's actually it makes it harder. 
it makes it harder harder than if you didn't over qualify. But that doesn't matter because we need to over qualify for Drago. I have managed to get a, a proper knockout with Lang, but it's you know I usually just get a TKO with him. Oh. Yes, he ducked that. I've managed to get a one um a first round TKO with Lang and Apollo. Usually a proper knockout with Lang doesn't happen until the third or fourth round really, otherwise he'll always get up. In, in my experience anyway. Always gets up. Yeah, so it's actually easier to defeat Lang if you don't overqualify because he will yeah, because he won't duck as much, so you can easily get a um a TKO with him. But notice how I don't need uh, the blocking or the ducking. It's completely unnecessary. He has a lot of moves for me. A lot of moves. This is his round. He's going to take me this time. Oh, he got me. Yeah, um, if you do lose, you only get one opportunity for a rematch. Um, which means that with Apollo, um, yeah, even though he says at the end of, uh, of Rocky 1, he says there ain't going to be no rematch, there is a rematch. Which was actually disproved in Rocky 2 anyway, so that doesn't matter. Um, should be able to get the, uh, yeah, if you get the health all the way to the bottom and you do a power punch, it's always a knockdown. Uh, through further training, try also to win the next match. Okay, that's in the Vlang. Okay. Now, the purpose of this training is to increase your accuracy. While following the movements of the mitt, punch at it at the exact moment that it stops. Okay, here we go. Again, I'm not using the rapid fire for this one. I only use the rapid fire for, for the second one because it's necessary. You can easily over qualify on this one without rapid fire. And rapid fire doesn't really help on this one anyway, to be honest. Uh, to over qualify, we need 80 hits. If you do over qualify, that means you only need two jabs to do a power punch. Otherwise, it will be three. But you can still e easily defeat Drago if you don't over qualify. You just need to be faster than he is, and that means um, over qualifying on, on the speed bag. And once, once we get to 60, it gets faster, which actually means it gets easier, and you'll see why, because he moves around more, and you can just sort of you can just do that. It just actually gets easier when he goes faster, which is a bit silly. Um, I've a actually managed to get over 99 without the rapid fire. The maximum on the first training I've, I've gotten without rapid fire is 92, and uh, um, with rapid fire, 99, of course. So I should be able to get over, yeah. That's 100. I might be able to get to, uh, to 110, and he'll say good again. No, because he's being annoying. Yeah. yeah. But if you do get 110, even though, even though you can't see it, he'll say good again. I think that's supposed to be Mickey, even though he's not supposed to be alive by the time you fight Drago. But never mind. Not even Apollo was alive. Yeah. So if I didn't, if I hadn't overtrained, notice how I just need two jabs for a power punch now. If I hadn't overtrained, um, Drago. In a scuffle like this, Drago will always beat me, and he'll always punch first, which means I'll lose. And what happens is, inevitably, um, you will be backed off into a corner, and he he will punch the uh, the bejesus out of you. Now, Drago also has the ability to pu do a power punch without even jabbing first, which is really unfair, which is how he managed to get that hit in. Yeah, like that. Uh, there is a trick you can do if you are if you are doing Drago without overtraining. If you jab like that and move forward, you can you can make him back off a bit, like that. Just like that. If you just keep jabbing and moving forward, it'll make him back off. Otherwise, you'll have to try and do this. Have him walk into your punches like this, which I can never manage to pull off very easily. That's the only way to get him without overtraining on the speed bag. But I don't need to do that because I've overtrained on a speed bag.
But yeah, I don't know how he's managed to do that on there. That that's that long play. Maybe he's, he, it's a tall assisted one. I don't know. But uh, yeah, that was because he managed to. That's because he didn't have to do jabs for for doing a power punch. You know, yeah. So you can do that and have him walk into your p power punch. That's the only way to get him. I think I have knocked him down by doing that, but I've never knocked him out by doing it. It's it's just it's just ridiculously hard. It's one of the hardest things you can ever do on a master system, and it beats um, it beats the last level of aerial assault, I assure you, because that's at least possible, as I've proved. But uh, um, Drago, without overtraining on the speed bag, is is near impossible. He, um, he, he will duck and block as well, which makes it harder if you haven't overtrained as well. There we are. He's 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 down. He must break me. Uh, they haven't got the heights right. I mean, um, Drago was much taller than uh, than Rocky was. Oh, it's knocked down. That's interesting. Yeah, if you just um, yeah do uh, if you just press the button over and over again. Oh, that was lucky. If you just press the button over and over again, it will make um, it will make Rocky get up. I accidentally used the uh, the rapid fire button where, where when I where, when I was knocked down, but because um, it does that you can normally can't ma you normally can't make the hand go that fast. I'll just show you actually what happens. I'll just show you then I'll then I'll defeat Drago. So if you just do this, and then Mickey will pat the uh, the canvas like that. There we go. Stop doing that. It's really annoying. Go away and die. Oh, I can't believe I did that. I've been a bit careless. Come on, Rocky, get up. Okay, you're finished, Drago. It wouldn't be Rocky without a bit of drama, would it? I.e. knocking me down twice. I suppose that's what really happened with Drago. Ugh. It's another knockdown. One more knockdown needed. The thing is, he only needs one more as well, so I better be careful. Yeah, yeah we knocked each other uh, down twice, so... Yeah, uh, normally I get Drago a lot faster than this, it's just because I've been uh, talking, I've been distracted. There we go, I'll, I'll take care of him now. Notice how Drago gets a lot of his health back, that's another thing that makes it really hard. Ow, that hurt. The thing is, even if you are faster than Drago, he can still get you like that because sometimes he can do punches without, um, without having to do jabs like that. That's it. That's it. It, just avoid the first punch and then uh, and then go for it because the first punch he always manages always manages to do without any jabs and that's what usually tricks me. Oh, he got me. That's it. That's the TKO. Even though he had more health than I did. Congratulations, you are the world champion. I can't believe he knocked me down so many times, because I was talking. Normally I like to get him in round two or three, really. And this is the end. It's a bit, uh, the animation's a bit choppy, but, uh... Rocky's the champion and he's meeting uh, Adrian at uh, the end. Yeah, um, um, chronologically, it's a, uh, the game's a little bit off. Because he, he marries Adrian and uh, when well, he meets Adrian and forms a relationship with her in the first film, he fight Drago. He fights Drago in the fourth one.
and that's, and that's the end of the game. Um, that's Rocky. It, it, it's a very flawed game on the Mars system, um, yeah, but still quite fun if if you you know if you haven't played it before and uh, and you want a challenge, especially for Drago without overtraining on the speed bag. Um, yeah, does this do anything else? There we go. Yeah. Um, yeah, my, my next video is going to be um, Heavyweight Champ, another boxing game on the Mars system. Then I'm going to do George Foreman's Carry Boxing, which is just a variant of Heavyweight Champ on the Mars system. And then after that I'm going to do the Ninja, so that they're my videos. Um, Heavyweight Champ should only be two videos. One on one video on, on slow speed and one on fast speed. The same with George Foreman, slow speed and fast speed. It's easier than Rocky, but and it's more of a challenge. It, um, it's a better boxing game. Um, heavyweight Champ. It was also released in America. Um, heavyweight Champ was released in America as James Buster Douglas um, Knockout Boxing, and that was because um, there was Mike Tyson. There was a Mike Tyson game on the, on the NES, Mike Tyson's Punch Out or whatever, and because um, Buster Douglas had beaten Mike Tyson unexpectedly in 1990 or whatever, whenever it was, um, Sega decided to have James Buster Douglas um, endorse uh, their boxing game, which is why they did it on the Mars system. So yeah, next video is going to be Heavyweight Champ on the Mars system. Thank you for watching and bye bye.